Hi, today is Friday, April 7th, 2017. It's the fifth day of the sixth week of Lent, and this is a sweet speech. And I have to comment a little more on what happened in Stockholm today. Uh, anyone that I know are safe, and I'm happy about that. And uh, in my previous video, I went to pretty pretty distant lengths not to point out a specific group. Although I think that uh, people understood what my suspicions were. And actually, the Swedish media have yet to, 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 to say that this has, has anything to do with Islam. But uh, one person is arrested. And... Uh, and as far as I understand, he fit the, the picture that was released by Swedish police earlier today. And I saw that picture. And let me just put it this way. The man on the picture looked very Arab. He had very distinct Arab features. He did not look like me. He didn't look Swedish. In any way. Let's just leave it at that. And uh, my conclusion of this is the possibility for this being an Islamic act is 99.9 percent. .9%. Swedish media are still calling this, or last time I checked, maybe 30 minutes ago or something, they are still calling this a suspected terrorist attack. Now four people are dead. People are injured. And uh, a commentator on Swedish TV, Mats Knutsson, he commentates on politics every now and then, he said that Sweden tomorrow wakes up. Well, to, Sweden wakes up to a new to a new situation. It wakes up. It wakes up as a different country. I think he's wrong. Sweden wakes up tomorrow. Fine. And what will go? And what will happen? The same naive ideas will go on. They will still push the agenda of multiculturalism. They will still push the agenda of 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 nothing to do with Islam. That's just going to go on. They will deny this. I mean, I heard the leader of the of the moderate party, Anna Kinberg Batra. She is supposedly, uh, well, the moderate party. They are supposedly conservatives or liberal conservatives or something like that. Well, she didn't she she didn't say a word about this. Oh, well, she talked about the reaction. How some Swedes in Stockholm opened up their homes for people who couldn't get out of town. And that's wonderful. And the left party leader, he was even more quiet on the issue. And Prime Minister Stefan Löfven, he says that Sweden has been attacked. That's right. But who was Sweden attacked by? Why aren't they say why are they not addressing this issue? Well, of course I have a fear about that. They are cowards. I'm sorry to say it, but Sweden is ruled by cowards. And the Swedish people, I, I am really hoping for the Swedish people to wake up. I have been going on about these things for the last three years. And people have labeled me a racist. They have labeled me all the words in the book. A racist, a fascist. And the... Uh, People have turned their backs on me. Close relatives. Earlier, former close friends. I would really like to know what they are thinking right now. I really would. And you know this, no one likes when someone said I told you so. But I did. I told you so. And one thing that, that I've seen in many different places, like a theme that goes on, in uh, in the debate or i mean in the comments there are so many comments now so let's just try to to compile them the, like the result of them and there's a lot of stuff going on with the idea oh we mustn't be, we mustn't be afraid now because that's what the terrorists wants we're just going to go on like 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 we did before and we shouldn't be afraid to use the the metro system or something like that. Okay, if we're not supposed to be afraid. Okay, I live in Oslo, in Norway. I'm happy about that. Although Norway too has its tendencies, but Sweden is worse. 
that's why I have to talk about Sweden. I talk about Norway when that's necessary, but right now Sweden is the necessary topic. If we're not supposed to be afraid, why did they sh why did they shut off the entire central Stockholm? Why did people have to walk out of town to the suburbs? Because there were no public transportation. Why are there no trains going to and from Stockholm right now? If we're not supposed to be afraid. The truth is, as long as nothing is done to address this, we have to be afraid. Everything else is stupid. And I'm not talking about the kind of afraid like bending over backwards and hoping that if we do this, our enemies will be nice to us. Nothing like that. I'm talking about we have to understand what's going on. We have to see who the enemy is. We have to address this. Even if it's politically incorrect. Even if it's difficult. Even if we have to say things we don't like. Because we have to look at this now. And uh, I mean, Sweden was not prepared. It never is. And failing to prepare, you know what that is? That is preparing to fail. And when it comes to the mainstream media, well, the media could help out. They could really help out with this. With uh, making people better informed. With, uh, with easing the scare level by giving us the facts and let us draw our conclusions and discuss what could be done. But uh, if this doesn't happen, that's why you need people like me. And I'm not a reporter. I just compile the news and comment on them and analyze them. But uh, really, and I mean, okay. Since I have a lot of Facebook friends, I, I get to see a lot of what people are, are writing on their Facebook walls. I get it in my feed. An eyewitness report from a Facebook friend was that at Maria Torget, Maria Square in central Stockholm, a lot of, uh, of Arabs were standing, grinning. And uh, this is a disturbing picture. Really. And uh, they might think this is fun and games. But I am worried in so many different levels at the same time. I worry that Sweden really just bends over and, and allows itself to be Islamized. That is one worry. Or I worry that the reaction from the Swedes, when it finally comes, will be unproportional. That uh, they won't address the problem. They won't understand that this is because of Islam. And they will just think this is because of foreigners. And they will go after anyone who doesn't speak fluent Swedish and uh, and looks like me or or preferably even whiter. Anything could happen. And just keeping a lid on everything, just sweeping everything under a roof. We tried that, Sweden. We tried that for for decades. It just doesn't work. This has to be addressed. And after it's been addressed, we have to come up with real solutions, even if they are difficult. And we have to do it now. And that's what I have to say about this. Right now. Uh, I would like to thank the people who are supporting this channel. Through PayPal, through Patreon, through prayers. It's all greatly appreciated. And if you like this channel, uh, please subscribe. So you don't miss anything. Uh, please click the little bell. I think that helps to keep you subscribed and to get you informed whenever I upload new videos. If you got something to say, feel free to comment. Uh, and uh, share this video on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, and wherever. And if you like this video, please like it. And of course, any support is greatly appreciated. And I will include all the necessary information in the information box below. This is a sweet speech. Have a nice day.